Yeah, that's it there. Yeah, no, just Doctor Strange. So, because if you remember the um, um, when when he's in the sanctum in this part of the trailer, where like Parker's like, "Oh my goodness, my life's a mess. I want hmm. to like, uh, I want Evan to go back," and then he starts jabbering on about like, "Oh, I want MJ to remember. I want Aunt May to remember." And I was like, Sh -sh "Shut up, Peter. Shut <laughs> up." Um, when he casts a spell, like for a brief minute, you can see this kind of purple, kind of aura. Oh yeah. Like, what you saw it like, like there's almost purple aura around it, like which. So part of me was thinking like, so a lot of people are saying, oh, um, um, this is oh, this whole multiverse crap is because of the Doctor Strange, um, um, like mess up with his magic, the spell gone wrong. Hmm. But I wonder whether this reason why the spell kaput or got wrong was because of the effect that Kang had, the killing hmm. of Kang in, in Loki. And that purple kind of aura was almost alluding back to what happened when, um, what, was it, what was that, the female Loki, I think, yeah, killed yeah. and caused the multiverse to fragment in the first place. So, 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 so do you think when he does a spell, does that happen at the same time as Loki and female Loki meets Kang? That's so. That's my that's my theory. I feel like it's. it's I feel like it's while well, he's doing it, like that thing happens, and so it's almost like I think this is speculation. But when Loki obviously um, he did that, they obviously created the multiverse. But I think what what Doctor Strange spell has done is it's almost kind of like um, manipulated that. So now that's why you look in the trailer. You, you're almost seeing like these different universes, almost like they're merging into one. Like they're going through one to another to another. So I wonder whether that spell, like Kang created the death of Kang created the multiverse, but this spell has almost kind of merged these two univer these universes and they're gonna be traveling through them. Because mm. if you see the trailer, it's almost like he's going, it's not it's almost like he's going through or getting almost merging his way through different universes. I don't know whether that's him because the universes are merged, as in these different multi this different universes or whether he's reliving these universes as peter parker as a different time yes, I, see, see, yeah, that's, I mean like i for me i just feel that they want to replicate what happened in into the spider-verse so i think that's what's going to happen is he's going to enter inso andrew garfield's world it's going to okay. enter inso toby mcguire's world because that's what they did into the spider-verse so you now had to, to Peter Parker's because it wasn't. Mm -hmm. I think they were saying that um because I was watching a, a, a video where they said mm -hmm. they they're, they're going to try maybe if they should do the, you know the whole you know the Spider Man meme on Twitter Twitter yeah. they all point at, at the everyone point. the point it's like yeah it's, it's like, it's like come on you have to do that like do that. because I think we'll what people are want because this all fan service is mm -hmm. to see all three of them mm -hmm. pretty much combine and work together on the same yeah. side which would be like oh geez what the hell all three yeah. of them are the same because and he, he, he now here's the, the issue. You know, Tom Holland is, is screwed. So he was a side chick to yeah. Iron Man in the first film. Mm -hmm. He was pretty much a side chick as well to Iron Man, again, using Iron Man's things. And right now, when it's okay, finally, he can be his own man. Everyone is... The only thing people are going to talk about is Tobey Maguire. Like even, Tobey Maguire. Even, and even Garfield. Even Garfield. This is his chance. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's... A, I'm, I'm interested because... I mean, even H.J. Lutz, I'm interested to see... What, what Andrew Garfield will do with like a better, presumably a better script if he's always. Mm. Gonna, I don't expect him and Toby to get like tons of screen time or tons of lines. That's the thing. It's going to be yeah. like, it's, like that's because my thing is their screen time is going to be very small. Mm. It's not going to be that because I'm, I'm just trying to think. Look, if, let's say, if it's a two hour film, that's how mm. I'm just going to break it down into 30 minutes increments. Mm. So they'll probably have about 20 to 25 minutes if it's like a two hour film, mm. which you know can be enough, but it's basically it's not going to. Because that's what I want to know. What is the plot of the film? Like, is the plot of the film okay? Focusing on Tom Holland trying to now fight the dude, or is the plot of the film all of these three Spider Men all walking mm -hmm. all together trying to face this I guy? Think, like, what is going to be the? I, I think it's working together. Go on, Patrick. Yeah, I think it's working together. Uh, but for me, like uh, HH, what I'm what I'm thinking is, uh, you're right about this. Um, the thing about it is. Whether Tom Holland is loved by anybody, right? Let's say loved by anyone. Uh, mm. Let's say he's loved by the kids of nowadays. Mm. This is bad for him because even regardless of the fact that uh, Andrew Garfield never had the chance, right? 
people still cried for him a bit. They felt foul play. So mm. him and Toby coming back together, agreeing for that. I think it's going to be very bad for Haaland because oh, it's, very uh, bad. yeah because he, like I get it he's he's been a good Spider-Man but those two coming back as actors and accepting the contract and everything I'm pretty sure they are, they also asked for certain things so hmm. they're going to overshadow him whether no, look, no, no, even, no, 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 even, even even if they just show up and smile even if Toby just takes his mask off no, without no, no, saying no, anything no, they're done because yeah. my thing is that he was he was already overshadowed by the cloud of Iron Man in yeah. the first and second one. This yeah. was supposed to be the film that were, aha, he can now finally yeah. stand on his own two feet. This one can now finally become a Spider-Man. But if you now bring in... See, for me, see, Andrew Garfield, he has his own fans like me, who I feel he just had a bad film. Toby yeah. Maguire? It's all oh, that's like, that's, that's like people's childhood. Like, yeah. people like, even, 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 people even go Dr. crazy, so he's, he's screwed. Even Doctor Strange, I mean, like, even if you put 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 those two acts aside, the fact mm. that like you have Doctor Strange here again, where in the first movie, because obviously people are like, oh, you know, Doctor Strange, you know, in the first Homecoming was like, oh, it's it's, it's this is just Iron, this is just um, um Iron Boy basically yeah. because it was Iron, Man. and now here again, it's it's almost pretty much oh, this is Spider Strange, you know, yeah. Doctor Strange is, is taking up quite a bit of the show, and then now you've got all the others. So you're right, like it's almost like. Tom Holland is an extra character. I mean, the thing yeah, is, but, but no, basically, you're like a so. sidekick to all these other dudes. Mm. Because, and that's the thing that frustrates me. Because, like, almost like I can't get the perfect Spider Man film. Mm. So, the Toby Maguire films, okay, he's Spider Man, he's singing, but they were way too cheesy for, for me, and the CGI just did not work. Andrew Garfield, great actor, easily the best actor to play Spider Man. The films mm. were horrendous, the way they were, they were horrible. Yeah. Tom Holland, Okay, pretty good, decent Spider Man, and so forth, and everything. Everything's still good, but he's not even the main guy in his own film. So, my thing is, you're going to have a situation where, when basically, when you watch the film, all people are going to be talking about is Tobey Maguire. Yeah. And, that's it. and Dr. Octopus, and that's the pop. Yeah, yeah, and, so <laughs> and nostalgia, and so forth. So, you're screwing over Tom Holland. Basically, at the end of these three films, you would say that. Who is Tom Holland's Spider-Man? Like, what kind of imprints has he put down? None at all. Be be because because I, I watched um, Spider-Man Far Far From Home um, like a few days ago, and I was like, yeah, this it's, I, the film wasn't really that good. Like, I was like, I don't know what it is. Like, it just didn't yeah. hit. Yeah, you know. I've said that about. I mean, I I personally feel that that Into the Spider-Verse for me. Alongside Spider-Man Two is is my, that's is my second favorite movie. I know people have uh, oh Miles Morales etc cetera, etc, cetera, but just the way for me that it, it captured first of all the animation style was very oh, yeah, amazing, amazing, yeah. amazing, but also just the way for me that's how you tell a Spider-Man story because of like because it had all the elements of what Spider-Man's supposed to be, you know. So the bat the youth, the batting with the powers, the the uh, the family trauma, tragedy, the keeping identity, all these different things that. We know a part of the Spider-Man universe you had in that, and on top of that, you had the interesting different variants of Spider-Man that brought it all together. So for me, it's one of the best, probably certainly top three Spider-Man movies that have ever been released, and probably why Sony have brought from that. But I agree with you. The last two movies for me, I've always felt quite. I'm not saying he's a bad Swan Tom Holland, but he's not. He, he he's not. He can't. He can't seem to stand on his own two feet. Um, and the nope. supporting cast around him, as well, in my opinion, aren't for me as strong. Like uh, as um, in terms of his supporting cast, not Doctor Strange, Iron Man, or Nick Fury, but, but I mean his Aunt May, his MJ, his friends, and stuff like that. They're not as strong as Tobey Maguire's, or even in the Inter Spider Verse, and so on. 